So we're going to be replacing the water pump impeller on a 2007 Malibu wake setter. And the impeller we got is from SPX, a part number 09-812B-1. And the impeller is located on the front of the engine, which is actually at the very back side of the boat, under the exhaust. It's located right here. Our camera viewpoint is going to come from this back side. That's the impeller right there with four bolts on it. I'm going to use an eight millimeter socket to remove all of them. I'm going to leave the top bolt in just so I don't lose anything and get it broke loose. There's your impeller right there. Note the direction that it is spinning by trying to look at the direction of the fins because the new one will be installed spinning it in that same direction. Peel off your old gasket. Spraying some lubricant on the old one will help ease it come out. Let that soak for a minute. This is where the job gets difficult. You're gonna wanna hook some pliers onto it and just wiggle it in a motion, pulling away to break it loose. And this will take a while. The best trick to this is alternating sides. So I came from this side, now I'm going to pull on this side. So you're doing like a left, right, left, right sort of motion. Switch sides, and then all at once, it'll just come out. The old one will have some numbers on it. Johnson A12B-1, along with our new one, same story. We're going to lubricate the new one with lots of WD-40 before putting it in. You'll feel the splines line up once it gets to about that position. It's not, no longer going to be able to rotate at that point. 
You just push it on flush. Then we'll replace the cover and the gasket. Even though the co cover looks like a perfect circle at a glance, it's actually not. It's offset. And you can see on the inside where the bottom is. Same with this gasket. So we're going to match the two up and remembering that this is the bottom side. I always like to install the topmost bolt first and then the others. And repeat with all four bolts. And then torque in a crisscross pattern. And that's it. My personal recommendation about changing the impeller is to do it at the beginning of the season, not the end, um, for a couple different reasons. But my main reason in doing it is so that WD-40, I don't like that to sit on that rubber raw water impeller all winter long because it could deteriorate it or warp it or change shape of it. So I recommend doing this at the very beginning of the season, shortly before you're going to get this thing in water or hook it up to a fake lake. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and share.